What, you didn't open it wide open, it's just black. It's just black That's good stuff, that's good stuff. I don't know what stuff. it is, it's, it's like red, though, is it? From here, yeah. from this one? No, 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 no. Oh, you bought some... Uh... Look at that split. When did that go? See that? I think it must have gone now. Is that only just gone? No, that's no. a huge no. old one. Jeez, crap.
Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to get a couple of bits of wood for that just before we talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just, just opened it. We just opened it. <laughs> 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 we just did <laughs> give it here. I'm looking at the hammer. <laughs> Freeing off, I know what it wants to do, it's because it's never been used. <laughs> I can't imagine trying to do that while you get shot at. No, just don't shoot for a minute. <laughs> I did a crack on the field, talking away like this. <laughs> yeah. Chat, 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 chat. <laughs> right on the back of the <laughs> sleeve, you know. It was pouring out, it was. It was lovely. I looked when I saw it, I thought, Jesus Christ. Welcome back to the Viking House series, the Turf Roof Viking House series. We're back in the woods. We haven't been here for two months, was it? Yeah, at least that. Yeah, at least that. Must be about two months since we've been here. A lot's happened in those two months. Um, a lot of rain. A lot, yeah, we've had a ton of rain. The roof's still on, yep. which is good. But obviously I have my daughter, the birth of my daughter. So uh, that, that's taken up a lot of time lately. And this is actually an hour and a half away from where I now live, down in Somerset in the West Country. So it's been hard to get back up here. but. Now I'm, I'm coming up, obviously I've got a bit of time. So I've uh, brought Dad along, I've dragged him along. And he, he's, and brought, he, he's brought the muscle with him. <laughs> yeah, I've brought the muscle with me um, and the brains. But basically today what, we've, <laughs> today what we've been doing is a bit more hazel hurdle fences to basically make the walls really of the shelter and just enclose it in a bit more. Because previously it was just an open plan um, roof really, just a lean-to type roof. But now we can, you can start to see a bit more of the structure of what, what I wanted to get done there. Um, in general condition, it's looking all right, isn't it, Dad? I'd it's say. all okay, it's all held up okay. The yeah, grass has died, you can see it's white now because yeah. we're winter, the grass has died back. But we're hoping, fingers crossed, spring, come spring, definitely summer, for that all to shoot up. It would be lovely to see and be, I don't know, maybe a foot, maybe two and a half feet. A uh, foot to one and a half feet off the uh, off the roof, which would be just, awesome. Just right for the deer to graze. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of deer, um, we have been halfway through making a bit of a fence at the back mm. of the structure, 
purely because that side of the roof goes all the way down to the ground um, and we the deer are going to walk up it and start to see that grass and think it's a nice open glade and want yeah. to want to walk up it up it so we it's are the, putting it's a grassy knoll <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're putting a temporary uh, it's going to obviously rot over time that fence but it's just a real quick one which we did uh, put together pretty quickly we still got to finish it but that should it's not going to prevent it they could jump it but it might just deter them a bit anyway so we've got one more thing we're going to do dad's brought out some yeah. tools with him yeah Antique what, one. What have we got? It is. It took us about five days to <laughs> work out. Have to work. We it. don't exactly have the brains of Britain over here. Even with their advanced military training, <laughs> we thought we'd be shot dead by the time we had to dig a foxhole with this. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Jax the dog could dig a foxhole Might. faster than the two Might. of us, father and son, could open this and dig a foxhole. <laughs> Let's just let me show it in close up. It is, it's an interesting piece of kit, though, isn't it? It is good. Yeah. It's got really nice leather pouch. That obviously goes through your belt at the back. So you picked this up at an antique store, right? I think it was an antique place where I've got yeah. some old axes and stuff like that. But it's really nice leather. It's got a double handle. Obviously, Ooh. it goes in there. You know, it locks in there like yeah. that. But that's a really nice piece Stitched of kit. well, isn't it? Yeah. Now, and this is the... Uh... It's folded like this. It's got... <laughs> How's it what, folded, sorry? <laughs> it's folded, no, like this. That's how it's folded. We, we had it, we had it. It's a really useful piece of kit, but you can see... It's got a spike on the back here. It's got a shovel here, and you can. It's got the bent over lip, so you can well, stamp spade, on yeah. it. But we we figured it when we did get it. We did get it open. No guarantee this is going to happen again, folks. Yeah, you're on TV live now. <laughs> this spike comes up, doesn't it, Mike? Yeah. It comes up, and you think, well, that's really cool because that breaks up rough ground. Because we're going to dig a little drainage ditch around the edge there, so there's a very very slight fall. Yeah, in the ground. Sort of right to left here. Only only small, but we figured, you know what? It takes 15 minutes to dig a little drainage trench and then you fold this bit down <coughs> and then you fold this bit up <laughs> and then you can shovel away so you break it up with a spike and then you fold this up so we're going to have a go at it see if it works <laughs> you don't need to use the bench <laughs> got it i got it uh, no, no, i know what i'm doing there's oh, years of military training <laughs> right it goes around and then it, it does this double locks yeah can you see that folks so you can use this spike, let's do it here and ruin the fireplace. You can drive the spike in like this. It's a pickaxe really. It's, like a, it's a pickaxe is yeah. what it is. It's a really cool little pickaxe there. So I guess you break up the ground a lot more with break that in the, the roots. Break the ground up like that. Then you can fold, you can all the pull it, you can chop it and look, pull it out like this. Pull it might be a good way oh, to that's make a good, That's working well. We're digging ditch, a ditch. Yeah. Sorry about the water bottle there. but. Or you can turn it around as a shovel. Obviously look. <laughs> Not like that. Not, not at this angle, obviously. <laughs> you fold it again, but I'm not going to run the risk of it not working. Yeah. I'll do it in a minute. Like you can shovel it out. So, handy little tool. We think it's, what was it, 19... Uh, 1965. 1965. 1965. Any of you military guys out there have ever used these? It looks immaculate. I don't know if it's been used. Probably not, but I mean, it's. I reckon it's a service-issued one. Yeah. Maybe when we used to have what we called national service, we had stuff called national service, which I just missed. <laughs> Explain national service quickly. National service is a national service. Yeah. You had to go in the army. I believe it was for two years. And boy, if you thought you had a chip on your shoulder, they would straighten it out. <laughs> Most people that came through, a few years older than me, so I just missed it. I would like to go into it. It really straightens their head out because you come out with, I don't know, a different moral standard, a different work better ethic. Better values and stuff. You have yeah. better values. You think you're going to beat the army. No, you don't if they want you to do something. If they want you to dig a hole with your teeth, you will dig it. <laughs> so generally, the people who came out of national service were really, really good. And I've never known why our country doesn't go back to national service. Yeah, it would do the youth some good, out. wouldn't it? Especially with youth. And then we wouldn't have all the problems we've got in society mm. at the moment. Plus, these people would learn trades, crafts, engineering, yeah. electrical, yeah. whatever. So I'm going to learn... <laughs> Well, not as clever as that. I'm going to learn shoveling. <laughs> so I'm off while Mike shows you around the camp. Yeah, okay. So while Dad's doing that, just so for those who have missed the Viking House series, I'm going to put a link in the description and in the top of the screen, and you'll see uh, the episode. We've done two, maybe three episodes on this so far, and you can see the build from the beginning. Uh, but this is the turf roof, which was inspired by the Icelandic style Viking houses. However, they built theirs with a stone foundation. This woodland does not have stone in it at all, anywhere, and we would would have needed tons of stone to get a good foundation. So I've put my kind of own twist on it. Turf proof is there. That is sitting on top of 
these hazel hurdles, which is basically interwoven hazel sticks. That's acted as a base for this turf to sit on top of. Um, yes, there will be a, still a few more holes in it, but we've filled it as much as we can. Um, it's sort of more of a storage shelter, really, um, than a, you know, but, but it would uh, certainly do as a, a multiple night camp in it. Then I left this one a little bit uh, higher up this pitch on the A-frame, and that's why Dad's digging the ditch, so that any water that runs off is going to hopefully, well, any water that comes from this slope here, this is sloping down, will hit that ditch and not go into the shelter itself. It's working well, Dad. I'll tell you what, it doesn't... Uh, How's your back? The spike, the spike <laughs> is uh, doing its job. It's lifting all those roots. You well, can rip isn't it? through the roots. Don't get me wrong, folks. This is peat, so this is easy. But we're below this, so we go down about what 18 inches. We've got a gravel base. Yeah. And it's solid there. You must have seen the other films Mike's done. Yeah, it's really hard ground it's after that. It really <laughs> crucifies you the ground here, digging once you get down past that 18 inches. Gravel and digging is just this horrendous. Thing, I'll tell you what, you can rip tree roots up, look. Yeah, it's good. It's that spike on it. It's a good piece of kit. It's it pretty is. heavy, but that's because of the era. I don't know, it must be British service personnel tell us. Yeah. Or is it a different country? Yeah, we don't know. It might not be British, it could be... It might be Polish, something like that, yeah. I don't know. It might be, uh, would it be a NATO country being that early? I don't know. We've also put some hazel hurdles at the back here. And here is the beginning of our deer fence. Just a three bar stock type fence. Real, real simple. And like I say, temporary, it's more to just put them off. They could they could jump back very easily, but it's just to put them off. And um, yeah, so they don't climb up onto this turf roof. We're going to put another section in there. And we do have a few more hazel hurdles that we need to add to block off the rest of this section. But we're getting there. So here at the front of the shelter, I did go for this side with the uh, the entrance, the door in the end, because it was slightly higher than that side due to the pitch, and I did make it that way. With if you look there, that horizontal cross beam there is higher than that one, and that was to make that more of an entrance. Still got to figure out, <coughs> excuse me, a door, and I've still got to block off that section there. But on the inside, yes, it's all holy at the moment. It's more just to uh, keep it all secure. And now you can kind of see the makings of the Saxon house and the Viking house there. Almost a small village. Very cool. For those others that are new to the channel as well, we have built an Anglo-Saxon house here with watery thatched roof and I still need to finish the interior of this, it's pretty dark in here at the moment but that's as much as I can boost the camera with it all fuzzy. Still got some gaps to fill in but it's nice and cosy and warm, there's two beds which I need to resort out so I will be back here to do an episode on the interior. For those that want to watch that, there's a link in the description, probably one of the best builds we've done. And it's certainly with the hardest. <laughs> what <are> you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Dad? I'm stamping it all down. That is your prehistoric drain channel. <laughs> is that how they did it? I do like this. And I fold it down now and I know how it works. It's just not been it's not been <laughs> It's not being used very much. Oh, so just it. imagine now you're you under, you're under your... fire, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> You've got you to can... fold that away. You can close it on your finger. Yeah. So when you put your hands up to surrender, yeah. <laughs> you've got your fingers trapped. <laughs> Job done. Yeah, I like your scale electrics chuck as well. Yeah, yeah a good speed up. It's only the bend that slowed me down. <laughs> We're having a bit of a rain check at the moment. Yeah. It's about to... Dump it down, so we're, getting, we're going to have a pause, I think. That's got something cool. Talking of pause, <laughs> I'm, walk, I'm walking through the woods doing filming, which I do, 
I had a little GoPro with me and I thought, what's that white stuff over there? I haven't seen that before. And lo and behold, That's look what I find. That is awesome. Now, it's got to be a deer of some, some kind there. Look at that. I've never seen it full skeleton like that, like, no, without anything else next to it. What I'm curious is, does it only have these rib cages just here at the front, like about 10 or 12? Or have all the others been eaten off by a puma or something like that? <laughs> do you know what? That would make a really cool hat. Like head hat on your head. Head hat would do. Yeah. yeah. It stinks, but yeah. if you think I'm putting it on, <laughs> it shouldn't have given you that idea. Yeah, it does. It looks like it should go on your head. Like a shaman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that is so cool. Does it, look, does it look good? Yeah, it looks cool. Awesome. Like, you look like Alien. Can I go in the supermarket with no. it? <laughs> that is very <rude. laughs> I need an like, extra set of jaws that come out and go, cha cha cha. Yeah. And those, cha cha cha. <laughs> I'm only 68, kids, by the way. <laughs> you can still have a sense of humour at 68 and do silly things. Not only did I find this complete carcass <laughs> in a different that area. That looks really cool. In a different area, I found the this one. A now, different area, yeah? Yeah, different area. Yeah. So it's not off of this creature. I don't know what type of deer it is. Somebody would tell me maybe by those, are they really worn? Is it an old deer of some description? I don't know. It's a good find. You've been finding some good yeah, ones. Yeah, but lately. I've also I've had this in the greenhouse for a while, stripped it all off as best I could, let it dry, and then I've bleached it. I put it, got toilet bleach. I put it in like half a bucket of 50/50 water and toilet bleach. Yes, yeah, and clean it's gone nicely. really, really clean and yeah. good. And what fascinates me, that obviously, a spinal cord goes in there, but all these other little bits. I guess that's a nasal passage that goes through here, or maybe through there. And it's not till you see a skull that you realise, and then. There is, I guess, for the ears, would it be? Yeah, it must be. The yeah. hearing that yeah, goes yeah. into the look brain. The size of the eye socket. The brain's on there, and look at the size of the eye socket. I mean, it looks like some nocturnal predator. <laughs> That's cool. So, I don't know where I could put this, but I've got the hat. That looks awesome, that hat. <laughs> it could stay as that, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Decided to use this to christen. To, to christen, christen what's going to appear to be a prehistoric village here. <laughs> I don't know about prehistoric, Dad, but it's pretty cool. That's really, yeah. If that had the head attached to it, that would look... Maybe you have to go a couple rib cages back. Back a bit more, yeah? Yeah, because it's going to fall forward. That there. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. It stops anybody going in there. Yeah. If they pass that, it's extremely bad luck. <laughs> Wait, what about if you want to camp in here? Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. <laughs> we'll have bad luck. <laughs> well, we are going to have to round off this episode because it's absolutely peeing down now. Yeah. But thanks so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. We've had a good laugh, haven't oh, we? Oh, we've had some sort of laugh. No this, question this, about that. This, yeah. is, this, is <laughs> this is generally how our films go. A lot of the time we try and keep as much of it in as possible, but we do procrastinate quite a bit. Hence why the episodes are really short. Because <laughs> we don't how get... How do you spell procrastinate? We do... I don't know. How do you spell it? We don't get much done. But um, we're yeah, fun. we're having good fun. If you guys are interested in subscribing to our other channel, which is Dad's channel, yeah. TA Fishing, totally awesome fishing. I'll put a link in the description below. Head on over to Dad's channel, hit the subscribe button. Awesome weekly fishing videos, lots of tips on there to help you catch fish. And even if you don't like fishing, it's really entertaining as well. It's something to watch, isn't it? It is, to... yeah. We've got probably got here maybe two more episodes, I think, of the Viking, turf roof Viking house. Like I say, we've got the Saxon house interior to do. We have got, you guys have been patient, another Pallet Cabin episode coming. Yeah. You guys have been super patient. By patient, I mean probably over eight months, maybe a year ago, the last yeah. Pallet Cabin episode. And quite a lot of guys ask, you know, how big is it? So we yeah. tried to do a few measurements to give you a guide. If you want to get some pallets, like even the wheelbarrow, how, how to do this, yeah. you know, we're going to try and do some stuff and put it up for you. We will, and we'll be back here in the woods, I'm sure, again soon. Dad is also probably going to come down and help out with the bunker series with my, uh, the bunker at home that I've been doing. So we're gonna try and restore that. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying this video, this, this type of video and this series. If you're interested in these kind of videos, then there's a playlist below. Like I say, all the links are in the description. Thank you for watching and we will see you soon in the next episode.